What a, what a great way to end today. Oh, Absolutely. couldn't have asked for anything better. Okay. That was great. Right. And so we are going to make, put a cherry on top. Okay, very good. With, with his Ken Peterman. Uh, Ken Peterman, who is the, uh, uh, the, the uh, title sponsor with ComTech of our uh, event today, of our Cyberland Air, Sea, and Space Summit. He has helped uh, lead these in the past, and he's come back again, so he must be a little bit crazy. Well, but, he, uh, too, has been a, above and beyond. He yeah, really has. Yeah. Just a great job, Ken. So he's a glutton for punishment. You've helped lead all of this, had multiple conversations. <laughs> You've summed these things up. And you do such a marvelous job of sort of putting things into perspective. And we would love to close out the day with you sort of giving your perspectives and maybe a few of the takeaways, et cetera, and anything else you'd like to share as we close out. Well, thank you, David. And thank you, Scott. Listen, uh, um, once again, I'll just say at the beginning here that ComTech is really pleased and honored to be your platinum, your title sponsor. This is a unique, it's an outstanding event. It drives thought leadership. It, it drives provocative thinking. Uh, uh, and it brings us together. Uh, it brings us together to talk about the issues. Uh, the day two themes I thought were pretty consistent with what we saw yesterday, but interesting. Uh, Ukraine and China led the way. The use of commercial capabilities in the Ukraine, software-defined warfare, importance of interoperability and data sharing, and the impact of artificial intelligence. Not surprising, but topics that need to be talked about. Um, David, when you picked, when you introduced uh, Zhu Feng Sao, and I probably butchered that name as well as anybody, uh, but a Tiananmen Square survivor talked about consolidated power in China and the Chinese Communist Party thriving on fear. He talked about the need to cut off China from key technologies and investments. Uh, and he talked about that we, that we cannot underestimate uh, uh, that, that the Chinese government has found a way to control every aspect of life in that country. Uh, and uh, that's that just anchors us. It, it kind of it recalibrates you as to the difference between our way of life and others. Uh, we moved to AI and security. Uh, Chris Benson, I thought, was on target when he said the future battle space will focus on software-defined warfare mixed with massive data AI and warfighting platforms working together to accomplish a mission. Uh, I think that's a sea state change from where we were 10 or so years ago, and I think it's worth, uh, worth talking about. The five-star award to Jeff, to Jeff Bezos and Amazon was fantastic. Uh, ComTech, I, I was thrilled to be a part of it. Focusing on our veterans is paramount, and uh, we're so grateful for their sacrifice and service. I thought that was a just fantastic event. Uh, Jennifer Krischer talked about the war in the Ukraine becoming the first commercial satellite imagery conflict and the long lasting impacts of that. Uh, uh, we had, uh, I had a fireside chat with a combined duo, one of Space Force and one of the Space Command, uh, uh, Rear Admiral John Watkins of the Space Command, Brigadier General uh, Damon Feldman of the Space Force. Uh, they talked about extending the conflict to space, leveraging commercial capabilities, uh, the opportunity now for DOD and warfighters to leverage commercial uh, communications ecosystems uh, to hide in plain sight and how that drives a completely new and different decision calculus from an adversary perspective in how they attack, disrupt, or otherwise uh, 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 counter our act uh, command and control capabilities. Uh, we moved to General John Hyten Award. Uh, for innovation and and in space, and I thought uh, Robbie Schlinger, Schingler was a fantastic recipient of that. I enjoyed the discussion uh, where he and and John Hyten talked about the Ukraine. They talked about unclassified satellite imagery and commercial data having a major impact. And when Robbie gave the the false flag example of how commercial capabilities played a major role, I thought that was really thought provoking. I enjoyed my friend Craig Miller on the importance of interoperability and managed services. Uh, uh, and then uh, with a larger panel where you had six people on the panel, Joshua Carlson and others, uh, I thought Chris Stone, uh, that when he mentioned and kind of brought it to brought into the reality that only 3% or less of the overall DOD budget is dedicated to the Space Force. Uh, that to me is, is when we talk about the expansive domain and the cost of that, I thought that was, uh, I thought that was something to bear in mind. I really enjoyed uh, KT McFarland, national, uh, a national security advisor. I enjoyed Bob Cabana, a uh, NASA associate administrator. Bob specifically talked about the opportunities ahead, the future of NASA. He talked about Artemis. KT talked about 
energy as it relates to economic and national security. And then, of course, you finished off with, with Congressman Pete Sessions and General Todd Walters with really a capstone kind of finale, and I thought that was good. I'll close my perspective. Uh, a compelling and informative, a timely uh, event, provocative, uh, thought-provoking uh, summit. Uh, it's been an extraordinary event in my mind. I've been to a number of these, as you know, David. Uh, this one I thought was really special. From a ComTech perspective, uh, I'll just say we enjoyed this event. We have an amazing team. We try to be fluent in the future. We have an amazing culture of innovation that unleashes and empowers our people. We are passionate about relentless innovation, connecting everything and everyone and setting ideas free. And this kind of an event uh, really helps enable us to be more effective in our business. So thanks so much on my, on, on my side, I'll say uh, uh, thanks. And, and uh, you've, you've, you've really uh, done a great event. Thanks so much. Well, you're very kind. And the last thing I think we need to say is there are a number of people watching and listening to this, and we would invite you to join Ken Peterman and other people like him to speak, host, moderate, et cetera. We are always looking for people who, first off, are nonpartisan mm -hmm. and two, are prescriptive. We want people like the people that came today to share insights and suggestions, prescriptions, recommendations, solutions on how to ensure that America and its allies remain the strongest military, political, and economic powers. And through the patronage of people like Ken Peterman, mm -hmm. uh, th this is possible. And we would invite any and all of those kinds of folks to come. Our, our, our doors are open, and we don't care about your affiliation. We don't care about anything. We care about policy. We don't care about politics. We care about the mission. And that is the way that Ken is, uh, uh, his DNA, he's structured. Mm -hmm. And we would invite any and all pe people who are positive and of goodwill who want to join us and share their perspective. Our forum is open for them. Absolutely. No question about it. And Ken, again, We've thanked everybody for all that they've been a part of here today and everything that they've really put into this, making it all come to fruition after two great days. But I really mean this sincerely. You were just great. Uh, for somebody that's been in the, uh, in the, the broadcast business as an anchor for over 30 years, uh, you were above and beyond. You, you really did a great job. So uh, Listen, thank you so uh, much thanks, on behalf thanks. of David and myself. Um, just an engineer turned into a business guy, and uh, I've, had, I've been blessed with a lot of good teams that have carried a lot of water. And uh, and uh, I, that's what that's a little bit about what happened today. I thought it was about the event and all the uh, all the thoughts that came forward. I, the recap was an easy thing to do. It was hard. It's hard to shut it off. There's so much to talk about that happened in the last two days. Okay. Thank you, sir. Well, we're going to let you go. You have a great evening, and we're going to finish up with one thought. You can see all of this on YouTube. <laughs> all of this is being recorded uh, and placed on YouTube for demand, uh, on-demand viewing. Hope you don't, if you miss anything, go check it out there. Have a great evening, yep. sir.